Hello everyone, this is Tony Powell from Philosophy Play, bringing you a new video that describes basically what this game is all about and what some of the things you can do in this game. Uh, so what we have here is the test menu um, and you can switch between the meshes, basically changing which type of character you uh, load up into the game as. Uh, you also have uh, two weapons, your primary and secondary weapon. Uh, you, that, that consists of uh, a M4, uh, a shotgun, a sniper rifle, and a submachine gun. And uh, the handguns, the uh, secondary weapons, are a Magnum, a handgun 2, which is like a Beretta, uh, and handgun 3 is like an Uzi. And, um, and you can also save your settings uh, so, uh, you know, to your player account and stuff. And let's go ahead and jump into gameplay. And so basically the essential idea behind this multiplayer side-scroller shooter is that it uh, takes uh, the idea of paper, rock, scissors, and it brings it into like a new space. And so what we have is two teams, uh, three players per team. Each player on the team represents either rock, paper, or scissors. And what you have to do is uh, if you're team one and you're rock, which uh, this player represents on the screen, uh, team one is black and team two is white. Uh, the uh, hand, the red color is the color of rock uh, on team one. And so, uh, if you're team one and you're rock, you have to take out team two's uh, scissors, but you have to avoid team two's paper. So you need team one, uh, your your team member scissors, to protect you from the other team uh, the other team's paper. Uh, me, likewise, uh, your team member Scissors needs protection from the other team's rock. So he needs his team member Paper to protect him from the other team's rock. Now, like uh, in the event where uh, uh, you got, like your team has less lives uh, in your life pool than there are team members surviving, uh, you're, for every team member that falls after that point, uh, the remaining team members uh, absorb the strengths and weaknesses of your fallen team member. Uh, of your fallen team member, and so if you're a rock and Scissors falls, uh, and he uh, if Scissors dies, then you are 75% rock, 25% Scissors. You can kind of think of it like that. And so now you can affect paper on the other team a little bit more than you used to be able to. Uh, but still, you being rock, you're able to affect scissors uh, at a greater uh, rate um, than you normally would be and stuff. And so let's go ahead and, uh, so that's basically the general idea. The last thing to keep in mind is, is that um, if you're the last team member on your team, uh, then you have the ability to take to affect all three members uh, on the opposite team a little bit more than you used to be. But if you hit the tab key at that point, then you can enact what's called beast mode, and beast mode basically uh, increases your firing uh, capacity to 100% for all three team uh, for all three other members on the other team. Likewise, you're able to take on damage by all, all the other team members, uh, and but you're given 300% health, so uh, it gives you a fighting chance. Uh, but this is only for a short period of time. It only it only la there's a time limit on there and it slowly beast mode slowly drains out. But I'm kind of playing with the idea that at the end of the energy cycle of beast mode, uh, then uh, it may kill your player and stuff. So it kind of adds like a little risk reward thing. So it's like a hail mary type of gameplay. But uh, so that basically covers how this game is played. Um, uh, and we can kind of like as I as I navigate through the through the level and I show you what you can do in the level and explain what's what uh, you can kind of like use your imagination like uh, you know in terms of how this is gonna look when six, a full six players are running around uh, you know with the paper rock scissor uh, gameplay mechanic and stuff you know but let's go ahead and run around the level and so uh, what you can do is um let me explain the crosshair real quick uh, this crosshair that you see. Uh, on it's comprised of uh, four pieces. Um, the main piece are, are on the top left and the top right of the crosshair. Uh, on the top left of the crosshair is the primary weapon ammunition and stuff. So you can kind of see as I fire the little red bar disappearing and stuff, and that represents how much ammunition I have in my primary weapon at the time. 
but if I reload, uh, you can see right above that the uh, the you can see uh, a little green slider kind of recharging uh, on the top left side of the crosshair, and that basically is the clip that I had just put away. I had just instead of throwing it away, I put it away, and it's recharging, and uh, and I have a fresh clip that I'm uh, just depleting right now and stuff, as you can see, and then you reload, and then it charges. And then you continue to fire from a different clip and stuff. And that's also so for the secondary weapon, the Magnum. You can slowly start to see that the uh, energy bar depletes and the other one recharges. Alright, so now that we got that established, let's see how you can move through the level. Alright, so uh, we have two grounds, basically the mid-ground, which is what you're on right now, and then you have what's in the background and stuff, and then you have a building ahead with the doorway. Now, if your character runs up towards the doorway and you push the S key or the W key, your character will automatically be, uh, hide behind the doorway. And if you take if you take aim or you fire, then your player will uh, fire into the doorway and he'll be able to see into the room. And if he enters the room, the uh, the door becomes vis uh, the wall becomes visible and you can see uh, what's going on what your player is doing and stuff. Here's another doorway we could take cover behind and look into the room. There we go. Now what we have here are these white blocks are uh, covers and uh, they're of various height. Uh, so what your player can do is is that if you push the S key or the W key, uh, which is the the S key uh, moves you down, the W key moves you uh, up into the background. And what your character will do is he will automatically detect what uh, object is in front of him. And uh, he will uh, align his body automatically to, to that object. And uh, you could just, just by holding the crouch key and then pushing the fire key or the aim key, the player will snap out of uh, place and, uh, and, and uh, he'll snap back into place when you release the aim key or the fire key. And keep in mind that you can go in and out of room, and then when you do, you can't see what's going on in the other room. So if there's another player running behind in that building, you can't really see them. Likewise, they can't see you. And uh, just keep in mind that if it looks that you, like you can uh, recede into the background and take cover behind it, you probably can. Uh, that's kind of uh, one of the uh, important things about this game and stuff is, is to be able to get into cover really quickly uh, when you need to. Uh, and then if you go to these rooms on the side, you have these elevators that take you from one place to the next. And over here on this overlook, if you hold the S key, you can uh, overlook um, what's in front of the doorway. And that's probably going to be a goal in front of the doorway and stuff, I'm not sure. And then just more cover pieces in these other rooms. And this one leads you again to the other side of the overlook. And yeah, now just keeping in mind, that's just uh, a basic overview of the game and what players can do and where they can go and stuff. Uh, keeping in mind the core idea of paper, rock, scissors and how that works, um, you can kind of sort of see the space that uh, I'm exploring with uh, this paper, rock, scissor style uh, multiplayer shooter. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot more things to add, but right now uh, the game supports uh, player accounts. Um, you can find a match, uh, you can start a match and find a match anywhere in the world and connect to it uh, and play it. Um, uh, you can have your user account where you can establish your, your preferred uh, primary and secondary weapon, your preferred uh, character mesh, um, and have that load up every time you uh, sign into the game. Um, uh, eventually we'll have it set up so uh, you can see... Um, your progress to how many matches you won, how many matches you lost, and that sort of thing. But uh, that's to come in the future. But uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. I'm Tony Powell with Philosophy.